what they did. They got them all put back together, and they felt really good. And you see Jeff. Now, prior to last night's game, we spoke to Stefan Johnson about his near-fatal weightlifting accident last fall at USC. Our Mike Rogers is here now. This past week, Mike, you learned an awful lot about Stefan and his remarkable story. I sure did hope. You know, if there's one player on this roster who has the heart to come back from an injury like this, it's Stefan Johnson. Uh, the rookie running back took some time out of his practice schedule last week and talked to me about his past, all of the heart-wrenching moments that have shaped him into the person and player he is today. These highlights have now turned into memories for Stefan Johnson. They were made during his college career at the University of Southern California. Stefan's senior year was off to a fantastic start. Just a few weeks into the season, he was leading the Trojans with five touchdowns, and his future as an NFL prospect looked promising. But it was a routine Monday afternoon that would change this young man's life forever. It was, it was a typical day. workout day, you know, um, I had class, I was a senior, you know, I was uh, scheduled to graduate early, so it was more of a, I had classes after 10 o'clock, I mean 12 o'clock, so I came in here and get a regular lift in, and um, the, the, the end of the day didn't pan out the way he normally does. Things did not turn out as Johnson would have expected that day. While in the middle of bench pressing close to 275 pounds, Johnson lost his grip on the bar. And in the process, he almost lost his life. To be honest with you, I, I was kind of shocked. You know, I didn't really know what was going on. You know, um, I felt as, I didn't know if I, I didn't know if I was okay. I don't know, you know, the extent of my injury until I woke up two days later and realized, you know, that um, I was been in the, in the serious case of an injury. The injury was so serious that it took seven hours of surgery just to realign Stefan's larynx. Not only was he fighting for his life. His ability to speak again was also in jeopardy. Luckily, when I woke up, my, my doctor was right beside me, you know, and they kind of like um, walked me through and talked me to, through the things that, you know, that I can and cannot do, you know, and he kind of um, kind of shot, shot it straight forward, forward to me, you know, kind of told me, you know, where I'm at, where I can be if I follow directions and what, I, what could happen if I didn't follow directions. So that was more of a, you know, you know what to do if you want to live that type of thing. He brought me back from a serious critical injury that, you know, that had nobody never heard of. And I put my trust in him and their trust in God and, and let everything for, uh, take its course. The course Johnson has taken from that day forward has been down a road to recovery and a straight path was set towards a return to the football field. The scars from his near fatal experience will remain forever, but he's also realized that his heroic comeback story will follow him around too. It's a gift and a curse, you know. Um, it's, it's a it's a it's a gift because you know um, it's God's doing. You know, it, it's it's showing and proving that God is good and He's working in everybody's lives, and it's showing He's in the healing healing business. Um, the curse part about it is now I'm overcoming that that obstacle in my life. Now it's time to move on and show that I am a football player and this is what I came to do. And while watching this football player being carted off the field during the first preseason game of his career. I knew exactly what Stefan was saying to himself while suffering through another challenging time. I also knew who he was pointing to. Stefan's grandfather passed away in March of 2007. Stefan told me that he was his best friend, his role model, and his spiritual leader. When Stefan Johnson regained the ability to use his vocal cords and begin speaking again, the words he chose were passed down to him from his late grandfather. It was a uh, God has a plan, run, Stefan, run. That was the last things that, you know, the last few words that my, my grandfather said to me before the next day he passed away, you know, and, and it kind of touched me a real in, in, in so many ways. And um, I typically go through, go back to that to that phrase every time I'm in trouble or every time I feel like I can't do it or anything of that nature, you know, and I kind of put myself back in that situation of how bad I felt at that point in time, you know, and how, how, how good and how encouraging that was to me at that time. And that's how, that's what I use as, as fire, burning my fuel. Run, Stefan, run. Head coach Jeff Fisher told us today that he went to the officials before last night's game. He told them that he wanted the game ball that Johnson would use on his first carry last night. He got that exact ball and still honored Stefan with it, despite the unexpected circumstances he was under. And hope, as you mentioned before, 
Stefan Johnson had surgery today. He's expected to miss the next eight to 12 weeks. We are definitely all pulling.